My name is H. Lewis Nichols, L-O-U-I-S-N-I-C-H-O-L-S. I'm N-I-C-H-O-L-S. I am the president of the Dallas Bar Association, the organized bar here in Dallas. We had been advised that statements had been made that Mr. Oswald was unable to get any Dallas lawyer who would make any inquiry about representation or that he was unable to get any representation here in Dallas. When I heard about that this afternoon, I decided that I should come down and make inquiry as to whether or not he was represented by counsel, whether or not he desired to be represented by counsel, and whether or not he would ask the Dallas Bar Association to furnish representation to him. I have just visited with him in his cell and he advises that his first preference is that he be represented by a lawyer in New York whose name I believe is John Apt, A-B-T. He then stated that if he could not be represented by that individual, he would like to have a lawyer who was a member of the American Civil Liberties Union represent him. He said that if he was unable to get anyone from that organization, why well, then he might call upon the local bar association to represent him. I asked him whether or not at this time he was asking the Dallas Bar Association to do anything toward representing him, and he advised that he was not, that he did not desire that we uh, take any steps toward obtaining representation for him, and that if he was unable to obtain the other representation, he might, at a later time, ask us to do so, and did ask that I would uh, check back uh, with him at a later time to see whether or not there would be any necessity or desirability that we uh, attempt to furnish representation for him. Uh, having contacted him and satisfied myself that he was not being deprived of representation by an attorney, and having satisfied myself that he did not desire to be represented by a Dallas attorney, I then left, and that's the situation as it exists right now. My name is H. Lewis Nichols, L-O-U-I-S-N-I-C-H-O-L-S. He didn't discuss the details of it. I did not ask him anything. He appeared to me to be perfectly rational, and I could observe no uh, abnormalities about him at all in the short time that I visited with him. What do you know about John Ash? I don't know anything about him. No, I'm not. What did, what did he say? What did that notice? He didn't say. He didn't say. He didn't give any reason. He didn't give any reason. I didn't ask him. Well, who's going to what try and get out? I don't know. How long were you waiting? About uh, three minutes. Did he say how he was trying to contact Mr. App? He said he had talked to members of his family this afternoon, and they would endeavor to get in touch with Mr. App. He, he, what was his mean when he talked to Mr. Nichols? Did he say he was the second choice? He said he was a member of that organization and would like to have a lawyer who was a member of that organization uh, represent him. Does he personally know Ab? I don't know. How would you describe his mood? Is he calm? Well, he appeared to be calm and... Uh, Is he defiant? I didn't understand you. Is he defiant? Defiant? He did not appear to be defiant. He discussed the matter with me in a very rational way and in a very... Uh, calm way and uh, we discussed the matter and I satisfied myself that he knew what he was talking about and didn't desire my services or the services of any member of the Dallas Bar Association. Does he fully understand the charges against him? I don't know. You didn't discuss it? I did not discuss the charge with him. As a lawyer, do you feel the fact that he does not have one here would uh, hurt the prosecution's case? Well, I think it would hurt the prosecution's case. I do not believe so since he is not asking for a lawyer to represent him at this time. Do you think it's possible to get an impartial jury? Probably. In Dallas, it is. The question was asked, uh, may I ask it again, is it possible for this man to get an impartial jury? Would you answer that again, please? Well, in my opinion, it is. You think he can get a fair trial in Dallas? I think he can get a fair trial in Dallas. Do we understand, sir, that you and the Bar Association will help him get an attorney no. only if it is not... Uh, Mr. App or the ACLU. In other words, if it is a Dallas attorney, is that correct? Sir? Well, I have no control over any other attorney. I have no control over any attorney but except myself. It is the feeling of the Dallas Bar Association that an injured defendant should be represented. 
and one of the programs of the association is to furnish lawyers to represent defendants in criminal cases who are not, who are unable to provide their own attorneys. Have you, have you had any calls from anyone in your organization about handling this case? I have had some inquiry about whether or not uh, there were any Dallas lawyers representing uh, this man, and I made inquiry and determined that apparently there are none at this time. He hasn't requested any representative. Is the Dallas Bar Association the integrated bar that is part of the Supreme Court? It, it's a voluntary bar association. The State Bar of Texas is the integrated bar. The Dallas Bar Association is a voluntary association. Does the, re does the representation of ind uh, indigent people include communists? Has a communist ever been so represented in Dallas? I don't know. Did you mention anything about his financial means? Uh, I did not. I merely asked him whether or not he desired to have an attorney appointed by the association to assist him, and he said no. Were these calls from people in the uh, attorney profession, or were they, they from citizens? Really? They were other lawyers that I'm acquainted with. They were anxious to... Uh... No, so they made inquiry as to whether or not the Dallas Bar Association was doing anything to see whether or not this man could obtain local representation, and I decided I'd find out. Were these local members called? Would be willing to represent him? I have not talked to any attorneys at all about it. Would you be willing to represent him? I do not practice criminal law and have never tried a criminal case, so I don't know the answer to that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Here comes Oswald down the hall again. Did you find that rifle? I don't know what dispatches you people have been given, but I emphatically deny these charges. Oswald has hustled uh, through a doorway. I have not committed any acts of violence. He says he has nothing against anybody. He has not committed any act of violence. Now, as a final note, I have in my hand the official complaint called a beef sheet made out uh, in the assassination of President Kennedy. And it says in part, the expired was riding in a motorcade with wife uh, and Governor John Connolly and his wife. Witnesses heard gunshot and saw the expired slump forward. More shots were heard and the expired fell into his wife's lap. Governor Colin Connolly was also shot at this time. Car in which they were riding was escorted to Parkland Hospital by Dallas police officers. So, in official language, they summed up the death of a president.